packet loss. It's not exactly your best friend when it comes to moving critical data, but managing it on your SG500 XG switch is just the fact-finding mission you need to prevent excessive packet loss. We'll talk about how to tackle drop packets in this edition of Tech Talks next. When a UC230 device is connected, drop packets can happen. So let's walk through the steps to take to address the issue. First, you'll log into your web-based utility in order to see the port statistics. Select Status and Statistics. Select Statistics under Armon. In the Interface section, click on the Unit Slot drop-down menu to choose a specific unit if your switch belongs to a stack. Next, click the Port drop-down menu to choose a specific port that you want to view. We'll choose GE1 for this example. Here you also have the option to select your refresh rate. The next step is to do a packet capture on the problematic port using Wireshark. First, you will be enabling auto negotiation, which allows a port to advertise its transmission speed, duplex mode, and its remote control abilities to the port link partner. Go to Port Management and click on Port Settings. Under the Port Setting table, click on the radio button under Port where dropped events are found and click Edit. In this example, port GA3 is chosen. In the Edit Port Setting window, click the Enable checkbox for auto negotiation and click Apply. Next, you will be clearing the logs on the RAM and the flash. Click on Status and Statistics, then click on RAM Memory. Click the Clear Logs button under the RAM Memory Log table. Click OK. Next, click on Flash Memory. Once again, we'll click the Clear Logs button and then click OK. The next step is to add Port and VLAN Mirroring. Go to Administration and click Port and VLAN Mirroring under Diagnostics. Under the Port and View and Mirroring table, click Add. In the Add Port and VLAN Mirroring window, click on the Destination Port drop-down menu to choose the port where the computer that is running Wireshark is connected. In this example, port GE1 is chosen. Click on the Source Port drop-down menu to choose the port where the dropped events are found. For this example, we'll choose port GE3. Under Type, select TX and RX. Next, we'll launch a capture on the computer running Wireshark. The resolution is to enable flow control. First, go to Port Management and click on Port Settings. Under the Port Setting table, select the port where dropped events are found and click Edit. In the Edit Port Setting window, enable flow control and click Apply. Click Save in the upper right corner to permanently save the settings. Once you save your settings, you've enabled the fast roaming capability for your WAP device. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.